Before we start the usual draft to glory, I'm going to need all of your guys' help. Wolf and I have just released, and Zara's now walking around as well, but Wolf and I have just released our first ever podcast. It's something we've wanted to do for ages. Could you all help me out and Wolf out and us out in general by going over to the podcast, smashing the like and giving it a watch or listen, however you prefer to ingest it. It would be hugely appreciated. We talk about some really interesting stuff and we talk about how we met and we're going to talk about all sorts of things that you want. So we need your opinions, suggestions on what you want to hear from us, what you want to hear us talk about. We're happy to make it anywhere between half an hour and kind of 45 minutes to an hour long so we can cover all sorts of topics. Let us know, but let's get into the usual draft of glory. Yo, what's up guys? Maverick here and welcome back to your week daily dosage of Mavland and draft to glory. Now, I can't actually remember where we were at last episode. I've played a lot of weekend league this weekend. I don't know how many of you guys are still playing weekend league. With draft, I find myself more interested in playing draft, even at the weekend. I feel like I make more coins and my time added. I don't have to spend money on fitness cards and anything like that. But that being said, we're not here to talk about the pros and cons of weekend league and stuff like that. Just let me know in the comment section down below. Are you still playing weekend league? Are you bored with it? Are you done with it? But drafts seem to have really been nerfed. I cannot get an amazing draft. And it, I've, I found it really, really tough to get tons and tons of Primer icons. Now, previously, we got them every single option or every single other option. But it just doesn't seem to be happening. So, hopefully, I can turn that around in this episode. Is it likely? Probably not. Entering with coins. Formation. Uh, all I need is a formation that I enjoy, a formation that I like. Um, I do not really love any of them. 41212 in draft. I'm not a huge fan because you can't really select who you would want preferably. Like 41212 is a formation. You need to know who's in each position and you have to kind of hand select them. For example, the right centre mid and left centre mid need to have defensive qualities for me. Otherwise, you're, you're in trouble. But 4321 is the easiest to just get an okay-ish drafting. So we're going to go for this one. Captain up first. Can we get a primer icon to kick things off? It's not a primer icon, but it is Baresi, who I use in my road to glory team in cdm but i know he's decent in this game so we're going to jump him straight in there striker spot can we start off with a bang yes we can 99 cristiano ronaldo now left wing uh oh no douglas costa's a left mid so we can't actually get him here but del piero is obviously there we go Del Piero is the key, he's the plug, he's who we want, and it's who we're going to get. So Del Piero gets himself in there. Right wing, just for the chem, Figo. There we go, or George Best, who I prefer. So I'm going to go George Best. Ronaldo is on full chem, so it doesn't matter if I go uh, Figo or Best. So I'm going to go Best in that position. Now central midfield, let's decide where we kind of go with this one. It was always going to be pretty average after that banging start. But we are going to go French and Prem because French is really easy to link. Prem is obviously a safety route as well. So we're going to go there. Left centre midfield. This is also a poor selection, which is not great. But like I said, it's easy to go French and match French. So I think I'm going to go. I, do you know what? I really want Witzel. Witzel is incredible in this game. So I'm actually going to take Witzel. I almost thought about going a whole different route. Another poor, poor selection. But we do get the French uh, over here. So uh, that's not ideal. That's really not ideal. Right back. We need Lala. And we don't even get Lala. We do get uh, Florenzi, Nelson Semedo, Caligiuri. Now, I'm going to go Caligiuri. Obviously, he's Bundes. And that means I can do that with, with it. But Witzel's still on seven, so it hasn't really changed too much. Left centre back, can we get Varane? Please, can we get Varane? We can't. So what we're going to do here is I think I'm going to accept my safety option of the Prem. And I'm going to go Virgil van Dijk. And then what I'm going to do is move Sissoko and the French guy in midfield around. Left back, can we get a Robertson? No, but we can get Marcelo, team of the year. Who... <sighs> Realistically, I'm going to hope that I do get a Liga Santander centre midfielder at some point in this game. So I'm going to take Marcelo because it's just too tough to pass up on that option. 
goalkeeper Yashin would be great. David De Gea is also fantastic. So David De Gea works for me there. I'm going to go right to left as always. Here, we do not get left wing. I could play him central, midfield, uh, Kadira, potentially. James Rodriguez is Bundes, so he could go into that middle, middle, if really required. He is 88 rated and seems like the best option currently. Coutinho doesn't really help me out being Brazilian and Liga Santander. None of these really help me out at all either. But what I could do is nothing. I'm going to go with Raheem Sterling as a potential super sub. I could have taken Marcus Alonso for a safety. I just, I, I kind of have just realised that. We can go with Verratti here, who is probably a better option in that centre midfield middle, middle slot. And he obviously gets strong chemistry with Del Piero. So I'm going to take him there. Now I need another icon of some sort. Modric, perfect. That's absolutely perfect. 99 rated. Gets himself right in that position there. So that is uh, quite nice. We do need to look at how we can change things around. So I should have taken the safety option of a Prem right back, which I can still do if I get one. Or we can go Lala and potentially start the French. Caligiuri is not an awful right back though. Mbappe is. Mm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Lala. I don't know why it took me so long to think about that one, but I'm gonna go Lala. I do need Varane ideally as an option. That would really kind of help me out. Uh, I'm going to go with Bernardo Silva or Di Maria. I think I'm going to go with uh, Bernardo Silva. I just need a decent Prem centre midfielder. And it just really doesn't look like I'm going to get one. So 82 rated there. This is another awful selection. 84 rated Nabry on that right mid. Lanzini potentially could be useful in a weird way moving forward. I need I need another huge player. <clears throat> Aurier, that's helpful. That is actually helpful, so I'm going to take Aurier there. Now here we could go Nacho Fernandez, who's, who's a huge safety option, uh, which I'm going to do. So Nacho Fernandez, and finally the final goalkeeper. So it doesn't really matter who we get here. So I'm going to go with 89 Chesney for the rating. But what we can do to move this team around then. Is we can go Aurier right back. We could then switch those around. And Lanzini go into that cam uh, centre midfield slot. But what I'm thinking is realistically Witzel is on 7 chem anyway. And Witzel's probably a better centre midfielder. We move those around as well. So we've got 10 on everyone apart from Witzel and obviously George Best and Del Piero, which I'm fairly happy with. I'm okay with that. The other option we've got is that which doesn't really help us too much because that puts Van Dyke down to seven. So if we had an Allison, we could have done that. But what I am going to do is start what I originally said there. I'm going to start with Aurier right back. So that way we've got all defenders on chem. Uh, we have got some amazing subs to bring on as well. This draft is looking very nice indeed. Fairly happy with it. I think I can go pretty far. We've got some good substitutes to bring on um, in the likes of Sterling, James Rodriguez. Caligiuri is probably not going to feature. Nabri might get himself in. Um, we have got Hamas Rodriguez as well. He could get himself in. So that's the team, how it's looking. I need to add a manager. Bundesliga gives me that one more chem on Witzel, which would be great. Of course, we don't get one and we, we don't get a Belgian manager. So realistically here, I can take uh, Italian just to get Del Piero onto 10 
and there's no Northern Ireland manager. So that is the draft. That is the team. That is how it's looking. We've got 99 Ronaldo. We've got 99 Modric. We've got a 191 rating. That is one of the best squads I have built for a long time. This is a beautiful, beautiful draft. I'm looking forward to using it. Hopefully, I can do it justice. So I'll see you in, uh, well, at the end of game number one. Game number one, and I lost 2 1. Good player. I only had two shots. He was defensively very, very strong. I can't complain too much about the gameplay because like I said, good player. He reduced me to two shots. He was pretty decent uh, and I'm not going to lie about that. The only annoyance I do have is the types of goals he scored. He was a great, he not a great player. He was a good player. But the types of shots he was having, I didn't ever feel like they were shots of danger. They were shots of just... He was hitting shots. And then the two, the, the goal that he did score, goal number one, was triggering. I mean, this game, it's just, I don't understand what you do to alleviate these goals as a player. He's got future star Mendy jumping between two of my players. Uh, one of them being 99 rated in Modric and the other one being an icon in Baresi with a sentinel one. So his his defending and jumping is, is really high. Um, but yeah, head zip, bang, bang. Like, what, what am I meant to do to prevent this goal? How is that a goal that I'm conceding? And then uh, I managed to score a goal, which was a good, good well-worked goal. There we go. Worked it well, scored it fine. Absolutely not a problem. And then the next goal that he scores is, is this type of goal. You could argue it's a good goal. And, and I'm not, like I said, I'm not fully annoyed that I lost this game because he was a good player. And that is, is one of those. But what's Witzel doing? What's Van Dyke doing? It's just so FIFA 19, isn't it? Again, it's one of those where Van Dyke could easily head that if he wanted to, but no, the animation on this this on this occasion decides not to. Iago Aspas is heading it with a team of the year, Marcelo, not tracking the ball, not marking the man, literally not doing anything other than just jumping in the air. David De Gea, the best keeper in the game, nothing, nothing from him. I might as well have me in goal at this point, but hey, like I said. Sometimes you've just got to take it on the chin. You've just got to move on. And uh, I might actually leave the packs until there is something in packs. I know there's the silver player pack, which I'm going to open. It sounds crazy because I know we never get anything good from the packs anyway. But there is literally nothing in packs right now. Like literally nothing. So I would be opening packs for no reason. Even though... You, like I said, I feel like you are opening packs for no reason. Anyway, there is genuinely no reason for me to be opening packs right now. So I might save them up. I don't know. Which, should I do a team of the season style project with the packs? Uh, a bit like Nep is doing right now, where I save every pack I get until team of the season. Or do you guys really like me opening packs at the end of the episode so much that you want me to keep doing it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Should I start saving all the gold packs? Um, obviously opening the silvers and uh, selling them and, and things like that. But should I save all of the gold packs and do a kind of project team of the season a bit like Nep? But that being said, that is going to wrap up this episode. Short one for Monday morning, but we're getting ourselves back into the swing of draft glory. I literally have played. That was my 26th game of today. I am FIFA'd out a little bit and I knew I probably would have performed badly and I didn't play my best FIFA. But I am just FIFA'd out. Genuinely, I'm FIFA'd out. I've played too many games of FIFA today. I finished off my weekend league on two accounts. And I'm just, yeah, I'm really, really tired. It's a poor excuse, I know. But we're starting off the week relatively well. And uh, it's going to be a good week for Draft to Glory. Hopefully, foot birthday starts soon as well. When is that going to start? I don't know. When do you reckon it's going to be? Comment section down below. But it's been your boy Maverick. And until next time, I am out.